Hello everyone, I'm going to show you about the new gadget that I've just got today but actually it's been in the market for a while um, this one is the Netgear Putch 2 TV and this is the model PTV um, 3000 so actually it's already been in the market for I think for a half year anyway I just got it today and uh, this is the device pretty small and what you need is uh, the plug in the power cable here and the, with the um, uh, HDMI cable into the TV but the problem that you may find um, if you open the box actually Netgear it doesn't work out of the box that's a problem um, this is um, iPhone 4s I'm going to show you that okay this is ready on the screen it's still ready for connection to get started launch my uh, mirrorcast wireless display on your device I'm go to setting and the screen mirroring menu is a screen mirroring menu okay and click scan yeah it's turn up here put to TV 5658 and tap to connect and the problem is is keep connecting like this yeah you wait for one day or two day it doesn't it doesn't work for sure what you need to do okay what you need to do you need to upgrade the firmware of the Netgear okay still connecting um, how to update the firmware you have to go to the websites of the Netgear and then you download and once you download you got a zip file from the Netgear website um, how to update look at this on the site you have you can see a button there press or keep pressing for at least five seconds and then you release you should see start firmware update please wait so this is going to the menu okay one is turn up to this screen on the okay on the laptop screen on the top there right on the top here you should go to push TV and connect it because it will turn to the um, like an access point you can connect once you can connect you get to the browser and open the browser go to 192.168.3 and dot one and you will get this screen okay. actually if you use this um, you will get the problem with you can't click the files this is Safari browser you can't click the files actually once you download the zip files you have um, it contains two files in the zip files that's uh, the first one is HTML the second one is SBIN but what we need is SBIN to update the firmware but you can't click once once you browse you can't select the file you need so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the um, Chrome instead sorry um, go to window and go to 1.3.1 Chrome on the on the window you get browse and go to this is a that you can see here you can because it's custom files you can not see the zip files or the bin files here select all files and then you can see the s bin there double click 
and that you get the bin files and click upload and then preparing to upload it will take yeah it will take um, half a minute and look at on the screen it will turn to firmware updating in progress okay please do not um, power off the adapter writing 75% 100% and then actually it's come back again verifying 50 75 and 100% okay push TV update completed the adapter will automatically turn off and then restart it again right okay before before you update you may notice the the firmware from here on the top of here it's a 1.0.13 but once you have updated the firmware um, the firmware will change to to something but again um, how to check that your firmware has been updated you press this one for five seconds again and release it and starting firmware updates please wait at this step you can see in the right bottom here the version has been um, updated to 2.2.16 over there okay that's mean already done I'm going back by um, pressing a button there switching back to valid display mode please wait okay I think and it's going to be ready soon ready for connection launch wallet display on your phone or tablet again I'm going back to um, the screen um, screen mirroring uh, menu screen mirroring menu okay available devices you can see the push to TV has been changed something and with the longer name a longer numbers here once you tap to connect is connecting okay connecting wireless display device done bang I'll see on the screen I'm uh, falling down here and then turn back a bit you can see the screen the whole screen there right okay uh, for example I'm going to go to you can see this is um, hang on uh, I actually can go to probably to which menu um, gallery and this is a movie the, sorry, is it a video? Once I click play, it's turn off here and go there. Right here, I click stop, and um, what I'm going to do, go back. Okay, right. Wow, well done. So, everything you can see, you can. Hmm? The speed, quite good actually. It's a, a little bit delay, but acceptable. And you can actually zoom in. So, everything mirror.
let me try internet. I'm not sure that because this the technology uh, is uh, is the acquired uh, uh, Wi-Fi direct. What if I open to something like uh, um, Google? Because it's, it doesn't connect to the internet. I'm going to review another clip. Uh, I'm going to make another review comparing the using, uh, the usage between um, these two devices. Um, this one is a Netgear and the Apple TV board. They can use the mirroring the screen on to the projector or to the LCD uh, bigger, larger monitor. So I will show you at probably next clip for the differences between both devices. Which one is work? Which one is better in terms of um, using for uh, for home use and for the um, uh, large um, companies or with they have many t um, TV uh, Apple TVs or what you gonna do with the Netgear Push TV? Okay, thank you.